past 10 years, the demographic of what the average school principal looks like has changed. The Department of Education says there are more women and Hispanic principals in office. What hasn't changed is the number of black principals in U.S. schools. WCNC Charlotte's Shamari Morrison shows us how one Charlotte charter school is leading the efforts on what school leadership looks like. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? The motto at Movement School, a public charter, is preparing a new generation of leaders. The man at the center of leading this goal for these middle schoolers is Kenneth goal Gordon. Setting. Everybody say goal setting. Parents love him. Every student that walks through the movement middle school door, he gives them a hug every morning. If not a hug, a high five. Right, we don't want that to happen, man. We gotta keep you good. And students respect him. Gorham took over the role as principal this year. The North Carolina A&T grad comes with a unique characteristic. I'm 24 years old. Yes, I actually turn 25 next week. The youngest principal in movement's history. It's good to see you. How you doing, Dad? He broke the mold of what many think a principal should look like. I was in my head absolutely about my age. I was in my head absolutely about my experience, my years of experience. Um, not more so could I do the position, could I fulfill the role, but truly like what the perception would be of me being in this role with those things like being a fact. During the 2017-18 school year, about 78% of public school principals were white, 11% were black, and 9% were Hispanic. The average age? 48. And what I hope people see is not only inspired by Mr. Gorham's story, but also have this mindset shift and like, how are you holding on to almost like these expectations of what you think someone should look like and who you think someone should be and what's the right fit? Because honestly, a lot of it comes with bias. Movement School teaches its students to own the room and lead by example. I will not be surprised in 10 to 15 years seeing one of our black and brown students in this same seat. Going to a doctor as an elderly member of society and walking in the office and one of our students is a pediatrician or seeing them as an OBGYN. I believe that it can happen. I know that it will happen. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. And it starts by seeing themselves and their future in Principal Gore. Our deepest fear is that we are Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte. He's awesome, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Great story here.